Hi guys, welcome on my channel, Dorota Pagska, International Nail Artist and Educator here. Today we are going to do my nails. It is going to be a winter reset and you can have a look here. That's what, the, what exactly we are going to do today. It is going to be a little bit of everything. Sugar, Swarovski Pixie, uh, Jumper, absolutely everything. Also some Ombre and the Blue Baby Boomer. So I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. And if you do, give me a like and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. So that's the look I have created on my nails. Not something what I would normally go for, but I thought, come on, it's a winter month and like, why don't you do I do something a bit more crazy than the usual stuff with the crystals only. And I will show you how to create different kind of wintery looking uh, nails on this hand. So I decided on the middle finger, we will go for the Swarovski Pixie and it's an absolutely so nice effect. Like I love the sparkle on it, really nice. To stick the Swarovski Pixie, we are going to use the Soak of Base Gel. So I'll just quickly dehydrate my nails. They have been infilled, I had them on for the six weeks before the infill and they was desperate for the infill. So I'm just applying a layer of the soak of base gel. I can actually guys show you. So that's the one I'm using. And then because it has the sticky layer and I don't want the stickiness, I will apply the top coat over it before we stick in the crystals. And then the layer of the no wipe top gel. The no wipe top gel is going to cure with no inhibition layer. And once this part is done, we can sprinkle it with the crystals. So I'm just going to apply it on the entire new. And that's a so, so sparkly. Kind of keep, keep going because I want the crystals to stick in everywhere. But now you should be able to see that they are sticking out outside the nail. We don't want that. So I'm just taking a nail wipe. You could do it with a sponge as well. And I'm kind of placing them into the coffin shape. So they are not giving me like a bulk on the sides. Because I don't want them to stick out too much on the sides. Also, this way we will actually get rid of the sticking out crystals, so they are not going to be as catchy. Let me check this view. Yeah, and I'm happy with it. Could maybe give another couple crystals. And then remove the excess again. You could also apply it on the layer of the uh, clear builder gel. That works really good as well. And that's me happy. I can give it a cure. I'm just going to do a flash cure because we still have to do the designs on the other nails. Let's put the crystals on the side so we don't drop them. Uh, we also have to do the baby boom nail as well. And that's the middle one. And also I've got it on my thumb as well. And I have applied some glamour powder over it. 
it's a really nice sparkly silvery one so I will show you guys how to do that as well so my hand is curing and I'm going to prepare my baby boomer mix and we will go for a very pale blue so I just got my paint on French and the color plus blue gel which I'm going to mix together into the nice blue shade I want to have. I will also put a little bit more of the paint on French on the side because we will be using for the sugar designs as well. And then dip in into the blue and let it mix. I don't want the blue to be too intense. Really nice baby blue. That's great. So the baby boom will put on this nail. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a tiny bit of the gel on my nail. I have here a makeup sponge and a little bit of the tape. Which I'm going to cut and clean my sponge. There is always a bit of dust, especially when we're doing the nails bits of dust and other things on the sponge and I don't want that to transfer into my neo so I'm just going to keep that on the side there we are all the fluffy bits gone and now I can start doing the baby boomer so basically all what I'm doing is I'm just rubbing in and dabbing the color on my neo so it's like dab it, but dab it, but also um, kind of go down the way like this, those kind of motion. So that's the first layer. And now I'm going to do it a second layer. Straight away before we cure, because we're going to go a bit lower this time. And again, those dabbing motion, I've got a bit of fluff, so I've got the tape on the side and I'm just cleaning my sponge because I don't want any extra nail, nail art on my nails. I'm going to give it a cure. It has to be a um, 30 seconds cure. And then on the side, I can get the glamour. So that's the glamour from the Indigo, it's a silver glamour. That's what we are going to wrap in on the top of the uh, baby boomer nail. And I think it will be also nice if we do another baby boomer, but this time with the color. Yes, that will be nice. So on my ring finger nail, I'm going to apply the beautiful white color, which is 173 Tic Tac. And it does really look like a Tic Tac white. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply it here. Let me push back those ugly cuticles. <laughs> And now I'm going to paint it white. Actually, it looks like my nail is not dehydrated and you could see the polish is running away to the middle. That's after doing the dishes. <laughs> I need to clean it and give it a touch with the buffer. Do it the same on the other one so we have no surprises. And clean it again. Cool, now it is clean. Now we can apply the layer of the white gel polish. See, sometimes um, when you apply the gel polish to the natural nails, it's kind of 
keep doing the same, that means the client's nails are very oily or you didn't dehydrate, um, dehydrate the nail plate uh, properly. By the way, when we're doing those nails as well, if you pick up any words which I'm pronouncing wrong, just give me a shout and write it in the comments down below because I'm trying to learn a bit proper English. <laughs> I had Agnieszka actually saying as well that I do pronounce nails wrong. So it shouldn't be nails, it should be nails. Uh, I think that will be the hardest word for me uh, to get rid of because I have been saying it for so, so many years. Uh, but I will try to give it my best. <laughs> Fab. So... This uh, layer of the baby boomer is cured and I can apply the next uh, coat of it. So I'm just slapping a little bit and using the sponge we are going to go again a bit higher with the intense color but not too high. You want to have three different um, intents of the color on your nail. Give it a cure. I think on the thumbnail as well, just so everything goes together, will be nice to do the sugar effect. And I've got two slightly um, thicker glitters. That's the pixel effect. One is called Kopciuszka, which is Cinderella. Uh, Kopciuszek, which is Cinderella. And then the other one is Śnieżka Snow White effect. And I will maybe mix them both. Or, oh, oh, we will do the ombre <laughs> with these glitters as well. Cool. So that's the next new cure I hope you can catch on all the things yes that will look awesome so we're going to do the sugar to do the sugar we have to use the no wipe top gel and I'm going to apply it on my entire nail nail And then sprinkle with uh, all this different color sugar. So we go for the blue on the top and white at the end. No, we go white on the top, blue at the end. <laughs> on the top, I'm um, sprinkle the snow white. And then on the bottom, we are going to sprinkle the Cinderella one. I'm not sure which one is nicer. I think they're both really beautiful. I'm going to show you this effect. So it looks so sparkly. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure which one I like better, to be honest. Uh, the pixie or the sugar effect. And I think it's really nice to compare them. I'm going to give it a cure. And we can do a second layer on our white because the white is completely cure now. So there we are. This is what's happened when you play with the glitter. You get it, it's stuck. <laughs> Cameraman got some glitter on the on the camera as well. I can see him <laughs> cleaning the glitters wait till we get into the chromes the chrome flakes always fly everywhere for so long i actually guys suggest you wear the mask doing those kind of chromey looks cool i can give it a cure let's tidy up this glitter just on the side a bit and we want to also um, do get those baby boomer effect, but I will work a bit messy on this um, one with the color because I don't need to 
make it perfect because we are going to put the Mermind effect on top of it to get those kind of uh, look like we've got it on this nail with the winter jumper. Uh, the jumpers tutorials uh, are on my channel as well, but that's just basically a design you paint and then you sprinkle with the glitter. So here we're going to go for a blue. I'm not going to be bothered about blending it perfectly. That's what we'll do. And then blend this one. If you get too high, like I did, I like doing mistakes on the tutorials. You just take a clean place and you remove the excess. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, that's what we'll go together. I'm going to give it a cure now and we can move on into the Mermind. So the Mermind effect I've gotten here and I need my second hand to open it. And I think it will be really nice to cameraman says I can open, I can open, there we are, you can open it with his big hands, such a small pond. Oh, that's it. Done. Not pond, pot. Cool. I've got it open. Oh. <laughs> Not completely. That's it. And then I pour a little bit of the mermind effect in there and just rub it into entire nail. And I love this look. It looks so nice. Okay, so I've got this almost wrapped in. I'm still kind of massaging it gently. And now lots of people ask me as well, like, how do you do the chromes so they last and they don't come off? I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Just get rid of all this sparkle. Uh, to get the chrome or my mind powders lasting, you need to take a file and etch the free edge of your nail. The gel doesn't stick into the shiny surface, so if we're using like two times no wipe top coat, that's my chip because no wipe top coat shouldn't stick into no wipe top coat. And the mermines and uh, chrome powders are very high shine, like they really smooth at the surface. So quite often, the top coat doesn't stick in well and also we've got the excess of the pigments or the powders at the end of the nail. So I'm always giving it uh, a wee touch of the buffer to make sure they are not going to come off or chip at the end. And now I'm applying a top coat on this nail. Also when we're here I'm going to apply the top coat to this nail as well after I clean it <laughs> and I have just encapsulated some glitter flakes in here the more glitter the better and I'm going to give it a cure just a couple seconds uh, so I can freeze the product and it is not going to run and then we will do the glamour powder on the index finger Camera one. <laughs> oh, please. So we will go for this look now, the glamour. Cool. I've got that open. I usually put it on the lid just because my nails are too long to go into the pot. <laughs> and I need to apply the no wipe top coat in there. and give it a cure. 
for the chrome powders exactly 60 seconds cure like if you're going lower then the results aren't as nice and if you're going longer the <coughs> product might not stick in as well i'm cleaning my finger with a tiny bit of the blue scrap and blue scrap is uh, just a nail dehydrator a nail prep so i'm just cleaning in my finger to make sure i have no oils or other things on my fingers and then after exactly 60 seconds we are going to wrap this chrome powder and then we'll move on into the snowflakes and i don't know what yet <laughs> maybe a wee swirly design or something i'm usually kind of just follow the flow and clients quite often ask me so what are we going to get today and then i say to them you know what guys like i have no clue yet and then the idea is just coming up once you start doing the things and then you see if something goes together or it doesn't go so that's the 60 seconds cure done and i'm going to wrap the pigment in so i'm just dabbing it in first and then i can start gently massage it into the nail and i think the silver one for this time of the year is an absolutely amazing amazing one to go for Again, I find it like the longer the longer you rub this in to the nails, then um, the better results you will get. And we repeat exactly the same step, which is touch the free edge, touch the free edge, touch the free edge, just to do a couple scratches. You could also use the primer um, on the nails as well uh, to get uh, to get rid of like any excess and kind of create those roughness but I just find that the file works brilliant and I'm going to apply the no wipe top coat over it now again Cool, now I can give it a cure and we can move on into the design part. And that's my nail cure, so I can show you them. We can also remove the uh, excess of the glitter which we've got on the fan. And I show you what else I do to make sure it's nice and smooth. I just touched a uh, free edge again to make sure there is no catchy bits and there is no catchy bits. And I do definitely love the top one much better. Uh, I'm gutted I should go for all uh, and the top look but it's definitely much more shinier than the Swarovski pixie I think what you guys think let me know in the comments down below uh, which effect is uh, more shiny the pixie and that's the snow white or the Swarovski crystals pixie and that's the original one I've got uh, but yeah I think this one is definitely much shinier on the nails So let's move on into the design part and I'm going to use the favorite one again, the paint on French gel. So I've got my mixing palette in here and my painting fine liner brush. I'm just going to give it a clean and now we are going to paint the design. So on this and this nail, I'm going to do the icicles or maybe on this nail. So you just outline the cuticle area and then you do a wee swir not swear like a vase. Then the longer one. So some of them are longer, some are shorter. 
then go around the cuticle and this one can be the longest I will probably overfile it when doing clients nails anyway So this set will have to last me for a really long time as well because there is not going to be a time when serving all the clients. Let me check. I'm not happy yet. There we are. That's me happy now. I'm going to sprinkle it with the snow effect again from the indigo. That's the white snow. You could also use the mermine powder as well for those kind of effect, but I think it will look nice and just white. I'm going to give it a cure. Again, not full cure because we are going to do another sugary designs on the other nails, so the cure will accumulate. Clean all this sparkly glitters from my mixing palette so I can create a nice designs. Cool. And then on this nail, we're going to go swirly. This is just going to be like a wee swirly bit. Now I'm just cleaning my brush because I want to prep it well. What I'm doing is just I'm touching harder and then lighter. So touch harder and lighter. And prolong the tip. This way we kind of creating like a wee frosty bits.
and a little bit uh, larger around the cuticle area. Now I'm just filling up on empty spaces. Just to make this look more interesting. And then once me happy with it, I can sprinkle it again with the snow look. <laughs> there is lots of sprinkles with the glitters. And give it a flash cure. And then on the pink you will just do like a quick snowflake. And then the design is going to be finished. That's the craziest nails I have ever had, I think, on my on my nails. Because usually I tend to go for something like more crystals, pigments, chromes. And this one is quite a lot of different designs. So just a couple of the snowflakes. And the easiest way, the quickest ones, is just do like an star looking snowflakes or a bigger one and then you do it like a tiny v shapes For a balance, something on the side and something in this part here. Sprinkle with the glitter. And that's the entire look finish. I will just need to tidy up the sugars, uh, but I will give a proper cure and show you the final look so i hope you have learned something new we have talked actually quite a lot how to do the pixie how to uh, do the sugar how to do the snow effect and how to freehand how to do the baby boomer with the different color than the white how to do the ombre two colors and i think white and blue ombre for this time of the year is just fantastic uh, how to apply the chromes so they last you so just remember like remove any excess of the pigments of or any other like chromes from the free edge of the nail 
uh, because uh, it is not going to the top coat is not going to stick into too shiny surface and I had also some questions before and that was a really good question regarding the paint on French one of you guys asked me wow you putting it on top of the top coat is it not going to come off the gel doesn't stick into the shiny surface but this one does uh, that's why I'm so loving because you can use for baby boomers, you can use for sugar effect, you can apply it on top of the top coat and it's going to stick to it and it's going to last for your clients as well like with no trouble. So that's my nails completely done and I'm going to wipe it off from any excess of the pigments and the powders and you can see it, the final results. I love this one the most uh, I think. It was the one when I was holding the breath to paint. Yeah, especially that uh, my brush needs to replace now I think the bristles are almost gone so just apply the cuticle oil and massage that in, and then wash my hands from all these glitters and I show you both of the hands so uh, if you're new to this channel give me a like or subscribe because uh, there is lots of different tutorials and uh, all the kind of uh, nails and uh, news coming up in here thanks guys for watching bye